Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump wipes $24.60 BLN off drug and biotech stocks in 20 minutes. By Christian Ross. During his press conference on Wednesday, the U.S. President elect Donald Trump said U.S. medicines are made overseas and are too expensive, and proper bidding could help lower the costs provoking a sell-off in big pharma and biotech stocks. U.S. Big Pharma suffered a major hit during Wednesday's press conference of the president-elect Donald Trump, who blasted drug makers for making their product overseas and subsequently importing it, and vowed to introduce proper bidding procedures in order to curb drug prices and save billions. Biotech and drug maker stocks slumped in the immediate aftermath of these remarks reflecting the market perception of the big pharma as artificially overpriced. Pharmaceutical and biotech equities crashed on Wednesday after President-elect Donald Trump blasted the big pharma lobbying practices as artificially driving prices and supporting vicious foreign trade patterns. They re getting away with murder, Trump said. Pharma has a lot of lobbyists and a lot of power and there is very little bidding. We re the largest buyer of drugs in the world and yet we don't e bid properly and we re going to save billions of dollars. The U.S. government, Trump said, is paying much more for medicines than the open market price would be, therefore, transparent bidding is vital in order to counter the powerful pharma lobbies. Subsequently, the market sentiment shifted toward expectations of lower biotech and drug industry premiums down the road resulting in a sell-off in related stocks. Our drug industry has been disastrous, they relieving left and right comment Trump said. They supply our drugs but they don't make them here, to a large extent. Obamacare, Trump said, must be repealed and replaced essentially simultaneously. The iShares Nasdaq Biotech Exchange Traded Fund, ETF, plunged 4 PC in its biggest one-day decline in three months. S&P Pharmaceuticals, Biotechnology and Life Sciences Index dipped 1.7 PC when the president-elect says we re going to negotiate drug pricing, you have to take that seriously, but at the same this is a complicated issue because there is not going to be clarity on drug pricing reform anytime soon, Brad Longker of the Loncar Cancer Immunotherapy ETF said. When somebody that high profile says something that negative, people do not want to invest in it. Initially, when Trump was still a candidate for the U.S. presidency, he was perceived as pharma industry champion, and his most recent remarks align him with Congress Democrats in a way, who, however, tend to favor tougher administrative regulation rather than proper and transparent competitive bidding. Trump might have become disgruntled with select industries doing business with the U.S. government most recently because of high costs of their services to U.S. taxpayers and president-elect is committed to cut the expenses of the federal government as part of his fiscal strategy. During the 20 minutes of Trump's press conference, Big Pharma lost some $24.60 BLN out of its aggregate market value of $906.80 BLN. In particular, equities of Celgene dropped 3.5 PC on Wednesday afternoon, Johnson & Johnson retreated 1.61 PC. Bristol Myers dropped 5.5 PC, Pfizer declined by 2.75 PC, Amgen slid 2.27 PC, Avi lost 4.2 PC, Gilead shed 2.3 PC, and Eli Lilly tumbled 2.6 PC. Shares of the Kenilworth, NJ based Merck and Company Inc. were surprisingly up 1.67 PC because of the news of the Food and Drug Administration having decided to speed up their review of Merck's proposed lung cancer medicine. Previously, Trump criticized defense enterprises for overcharging the U.S. government, including the highly publicized story focusing on Air Force One, dubbed by Trump as too expensive. During the press conference on Wednesday, Trump mentioned Lockheed Martin. Ford, and United Technologies amongst the companies whose business practices are harmful to the U.S. economic interests, mainly, in the form of consumer goods being produced overseas and subsequently imported into the U.S. The drug industry, on its part, has greatly benefited from the Obamacare reform, 
which attracted more funds out of Americans' pockets into the sphere of medical services. The bloated budget spending of the past eight years has also resulted in significant redistribution of wealth towards the well-connected Washington lobbies, with pharma being among the biggest. Despite his critical stance on the issue of drug prices, and the cautious support from the Democrats, including the now-again independent Bernie Sanders, Trump is still seen by Big Pharma as good news. The S&P Biotech Index is still 9 PC above its election day level. We look forward to working with the new administration and Congress to advance proactive, practical solutions to improve the marketplace and make it more responsive to the needs of patients, Stephen Ubb of Washington-based Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America (PHRMA) said. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.